what is up guys welcome back to the channel today i have exciting news for you guys today oh my god i've been dying to do this for so long okay so we're just at Corey's house at the moment we are going to be installing wide body kit on the 86 itself so enjoy today's video and first of all what we're gonna go do today right now is we're gonna go hit up bunnings warehouse to get, get um, a few tools and a few screws and nuts so stay tuned for the rest of the video i hope you guys do enjoy today's video and the rest of the series that's going to be going on for the cars content so if you guys are interested in watching the 86 build on susano we're going to get a wide body kit this time we're full sending it we're, we're going hard on this build so stay tuned and if you're new make sure to subscribe and give it a like guys hey what up corey <laughs> but yeah we kind of decided to go super cheap instead uh we were gonna get bunnings but yeah I think Super Chip was closer, so we end up going here instead. You guys already know what's up. Wheel and the self tap screws and nut and bolts. I just need to mark out where I'm cutting and stuff, so. Look at this beast. About to get a wide body, bitch. Guys, now that we've got all of our stuff, let's head back to Corey's house. So, some of you guys are probably asking now in the channel where has the 86 been or. Why haven't you been driving 86? Well, so short story, the car did run out of rego and I couldn't really drive it at the meantime because you gotta have a registered car in Australia, Sydney, you know, stuff like that. We can't really do illegals and stuff. Yo, for all you OGs out there have been following the YouTube channel now since the start, um, the Euro is now gone. I have sold it. So if you're wondering why I sold the Euro, it was because just to make, so it's, well, it was because to make the content better I did sacrifice one of my cars just for you guys so I can make more content So I hope you guys appreciate it So leave a like man Like fuck I'm doing this I'm actually literally doing a driveway wide body kit So you know tough times and we don't have a hoist And like you know I'm not famous anytime soon But you know, yeah, we'll keep working on it But first of all we're gonna need to pop up the bonnet and Take off the front bar guys <laughs> This is actually one of my worst nightmares on using. Um, I'm probably not confident of like literally cutting the guard myself. I mean, it is intimidating. I mean, look at this thing. Like, dude, you wouldn't want your fingers underneath this stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm probably gonna let Corey cut the first cut, and I'll maybe join in on the next side. So I don't know, man. It's it's it's, it's a big thing for me right now. You know? Okay, right, so now that we finally got the um the front bar off, I'm probably gonna go head off and just tape off the fenders. Um, just tape out our guidelines where we're gonna cut before we actually cut the car we'll take the lining of the car the tape and then we're gonna tape up here and then we're gonna give it a cut so we're gonna use the tape as like our guideline so when we go cut the guard we're gonna know where exactly where to cut so it is a scary part of the car um, <laughs> i'm a bit paranoid but we're gonna get this wrong but i hope that we don't fingers crossed i do hope the car does turn out pretty well i mean we're just gonna send it there's, there's, there's no turning back from me it was just What's done is done. It's now you send it or you don't send it. I mean, if you guys have wide body kits out there right now, and you guys are watching this video, bro, I say take the first cut, mock it up. If you're too scared, just sell it because you're never gonna install the car, install it on your car. So just, just send it. I mean, it hurts now. Like it actually hurts my feelings, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? It is So it's a bit dark at the moment. We finally um, chopped a bit of the guard off down here just to test fit. We haven't finished cutting off here yet. We'll get to that eventually, but it's too dark right now. So we're probably gonna do it on a Saturday. It is well, Wednesday now. So everything else just pre-tested, fitted on. Um, this is what we're gonna get up to for now. So we we'll continue this on on Saturday, I guess. The next day. Alright guys, so enough playing around, let's just finally just chop up the guard, get over and done with, enough wasting time, let's just, let's just send it. So we're gonna do this, and there's no going back, so if I make a mistake, that's on me, um, it's all for content right? <laughs> it's that moment, it's that time, 
we get serious and we cut this fender it's been nice knowing you you know what I might even actually keep this rear fender and the other side as a trophy as a token of memory so I'm gonna post it up in a frame and hopefully you know keep it for the rest of my life just so every time I look at it it just reminds me of like the time I just cut it so here goes guys no more mucking around um, this is a big thing I already did the front so we already passed the point of no return because we already drew the hole so let's just do it let's just send it Honestly, this hurts more than what you guys can see right now. I mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but ah, this is a big thing, dude. Like, fuck, man. Like, I just cut my car in like pieces, piece, pieces. Whew. Um, we're halfway there. Uh, it's a bit um terrifying right now. <laughs> I don't want to do this, but fuck, I already cut like halfway, bro. Oh god. What did I get myself into? You have to like cut the outer layer skin first to get to the inner skin so you gotta cut from here to the other side and uh, so the 86 has two layers of metal skin so if I had to cut out the first layer and I'm just cutting around the edges here so I can put this back to get to the inner skin so I'll show you guys what that looks like So, <clears throat> this is the inner skin that I was talking about. That I gotta cut slits into this and fold them up and then get all this waterproof so water does not go inside to my cabin and sit in here. Okay, this is what's left of the rear fenders. Oh fuck. I wanna keep this as decoration hanging on my wall somewhere. Alright guys, so what I'm going to be doing now is just smoothing off the edges up here so it's all nice and smooth and it looks clean even though I cut the body of the car but, um, so I'm just going to smooth this out make it all look nice and clean Alright guys, so now that I've marked where I need to cut on the, outer, uh, the inner skin um, I am waiting for a new blade, so I'm waiting for Cory to get here so I can get a new blade so I, I can cut the rest of the slits so I can bend them all up and get them waterproofed on this side. I am going to cut that off, but I ran out of blade, so so we're just going to have to wait till Cory gets here. The next day. Um, I have finished doing the front of the car yesterday. I didn't get to record it because I was just really busy and really wanted to get it done. So I'll show you guys what exactly what I've done to the car on the front. Now, so the front end, sorry, so the front end, I finally got the front kit fitted, holes are drilled, and they're currently held on by screws at the moment until I actually install rib nuts in them. Uh, I've went ahead and drilled the front over fenders in as well. I haven't finished off over here yet, but um, we'll get to that shortly. But the other sides are already on. So now today we're just going to be focusing on cutting the. Oh shit, I stepped in crap. So just today, 
Um, we're just gonna be focusing on installing the rears. Oh, sorry, not installing, we're gonna be focusing on cutting the rears and just cutting up the guard and getting them waterproof. So I've already went ahead and mocked up all the rears. Um, I've lined everything all up. So I've lined everything all up, I've really mocked up everything, everything's all held in place and put together. So all I have to do is cut this side and the other side and we're practically done and then after we waterproof all of that we just have to get it spray painted I guess and then that's a wide body kit done. Alright guys so finally got some new fresh blades, bought a lot this time so I don't run out. So let's finally finish cutting off all this. What are we doing here, James? We're fucking silicon this shit. Why, do, why are we sealing it? Because you know what to go in your body, bro. And what do you do for work, mate? I'm a silicon body. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, guys, while James has that side, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side guards, I mean, the fender, and so you can seal it off and waterproof it. Alright, finally got the other side cut. I did make this side a little bit more cleaner than the other side, I don't know why, but um, James has a little bit more effort and more work to do because there's about 10 more slits that are made. But um, other than that, doing a pretty good job there. So James, what do you reckon about what I did to my car? What do you think? I fucking love it. Not you, the other James. I think about this much, mate. He thinks full cent. Alright, James, James number two, what do you think about this? What I've just I done? It's a... What do you think, bro? It's a full send. Did I go too far? Did I did I fucking wake up on the wrong side of the bed? When you did, I like I like waking up on the wrong side of the bed sometimes. But at the same time, what's the outcome is what you need to think about. Not the real, not what you're looking at now. Not right? what you're looking at now. It's the outcome. Exactly right, ladies and gentlemen. Let, let that be a lesson. Look at the brighter end of the grass. The brighter side. That's right. Shout out to Pro Silicon. <laughs> you guys are doing an amazing job. Thank you for coming out and helping me tonight. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. It's looking pretty tragic because everything's blocking the fucking gun. Guys, I know some of you guys don't know how to use silicon. So let this be a lesson. If you guys are watching this video, he's a professional guy that does silicon for a living. So if you haven't it's known... It's not pretty professional at the moment. He's half pissed, <laughs> half, half pissed but it's, it's alright. You know? It's all for the content. It's had about a couple of four VBs in. I don't know, probably. But um, it looks a bit, um, how are you going at the moment? <laughs> in Australia, <laughs> when give, we... Give me a finished look. In, in, look in Australia, better. when we say how you going, we mean it looks terrible. <laughs> so that's our slang. <laughs> they need to learn how to use silicon professionally. You never learn. Why do you spray water on silicon? Why? Sorry, it doesn't work. So no, it doesn't so work. You have a... But why is there soap in the water? With, um... You never know, it's vinegar. Can I ask you what? Uh, can, can I ask you why the silicon doesn't stick you to your fingers? Uh, it's because you've got mineral terps in there. Yep. And uh, a bit of vinegar. Alright, mineral terps and a bit of vinegar, guys. Don't try it at home if you're new to it. Which allows you to what, do what? It allows you manipulate to it. use it. Manipulate not how I'm using it at the moment. Use it's it as a mold. Not working at the moment. Using it as a mold to your fingers. That looks pretty good, man. Alright guys, so we finally got both fenders fixed and sealed and the other side is also done as well. It does look pretty good. James done an amazing job on the finish. So now we're just going to have to wait till it dries completely. It takes about 6 hours to cure, touch dry. So tomorrow morning we're going to put back on the fenders and that's practically the whole wide body kit installed. Other than that, other than me having to change the self tap screws to rivets, the cut's practically all done. I just have to put everything back together. So, pretty much it. Alright guys, so it's the next day. Um, so, the silicon has finally dried up, touched dry. And so far, everything looks to be nice and sealed. And even the top. So, it looks pretty good. I don't think any water is going to get in there at all. And the other side looks pretty good as well. So, all I have to do now is just put on the kit back. Later on, we'll drill these holes, put rib nuts in it, 
And then today I'm just gonna put on everything back on the rebar, the wide body kit, and that's practically the whole kit done. So. So I finally went ahead and put everything back on the car. I uh, put the rear fenders back on and I put some of the rear pods, uh, whatever you guys want to call it, that goes on the rear bar, like another over fender for the rear bar. So I put that all back on. So now everything's all finished and this is how it looks like. So I'd just like to thank you guys for watching today's episode. Shout out to Corey and Bobby and everyone that's helped me with the build so far. And James for doing the silicon and everything as well. Shout out to all you guys. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys so I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys that are watching. Thank you guys for watching and joining in on today's video. I hope you guys liked what I've done. I don't know if I've done anything wrong. I probably have but like who knows. I'll find out later on in the future. Right? Car's all done. One body kits all installed so if you guys enjoyed today's video please leave a like and if you guys are new subscribe guys there's gonna be more content on the 86 coming up i'm gonna make it like into like a series so you guys can all watch and enjoy yeah i've got plenty of mods to do plenty of stuff to install to this car it's not yet finished but I hope you guys can ride along the train and board along and follow the journey to susano wide body 86 so stay tuned see you guys in the next video